My name's Stephen Bull, I'm originally from Lincolnshire. I bought this um, guest house uh, two years ago, uh, a room with a view in Brighton on the seafront. I knew that I wanted to buy a business and I knew I wanted, I wanted a bed, uh, bed and breakfast. Um, I decided on Brighton because it seems quite a buoyant market here. I think the reason why I can attract the high-end audience really is because I did a lot of research. I didn't just jump in and buy the first guest house or hotel that came along. This is the only guest house I think in Brighton that can offer free parking for every room. So nine out of ten of our rooms do have a sea view and the one at the back does have a garden view. Another thing that works for us is because we give such good customer service and because people do have a quality product when they get here, that they do tend to recommend their friends to come back and they're starting to come back themselves. And, you know, it's so expensive to market these days that it's really important for you to get the returning customers. The moment they first make contact with you, you've got to sound caring, you've got to show interest, you've got to ask them, you know, if they're celebrating anything down here, if they are, we'll put some like locally made chocolates in the rooms, leave a little card and a welcome note for them. And we give them quite a lot of local information. It's in our own interest to keep this area vibrant and busy, keeping the cafes and the restaurants full. Um, so if I'm ever full, I will just, um, if someone rings up, I'll just send them to a hotel that's local and they do the same in return. If you, I mean, if you overburden yourself with work and try to make too many changes at the same time, you're going to stretch yourself so thinly that, you know, you're not going to do anything right, you're not going to perfect anything. And I learned just to focus on one problem at a time. The good news is, a bit of positive news, two years down the line, I'm almost there, you know, I've got, I've still got a to-do list as long as my arm, but I'm not, you know, there's nothing that urgent now that I can't cope with in terms of learning, being a sort of tough learning curve, um, I've had to learn to delegate because I just realised that it's impossible to do everything myself. We can't sort of know where we're going wrong or where we're going right unless the guest tells us so. So we leave a little guest comment form in the room and then as they, when they leave, um, we always read them. Anything that we see where I can make a positive change, I will, I will do it. We got the Visit England Silver Award on the first year we opened. And I think that was in recognition of the quality of the place, the cleanliness um, and the overall guest experience. In the coming year, I'm going to be looking at ways to improve and hopefully um, could even move up to five star. Always look for ways to improve the business and um, never become complacent.